Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Dave the Diver here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel for what might possibly be the last episode. So on the previous one, we actually finished the story because uh, we entered the control room, we battled the monster, and uh, we fixed the ancient tree. So that means that there are no longer those tremors, none of that stuff. So what we're basically left with is uh, to uh, do the uh, VIP and do the cucumber event. So that, that's kind of what I want to do. And if I'll be able to manage that, I will be extremely happy. I'll still try to make sure that this little knucklehead will grow into something different than the Indo-Pacific bottlenose dolphin, which I already had. So, <clears throat> if I can actually make sure that, like, the discipline will be above 9, then I will be fine. All I need to make sure if I want to get the beluga is that the food and the affection will be four and four and i will need to get orange fish if i will get blue fish i will get entirely different species but i'm still gonna try to get the five of these to grow up i also was able to hunt down all the names in the space diver mini game so i have that rare achievement and if i will be able to capture three more of these knuckleheads then that's another one so i will see if i'll one day have the hundred percent for this but i will definitely not bother you with that here on the channel anymore because 20 something episodes and uh, <clears throat> I, I i just want to finish off the game so uh yeah uh, 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 uh. Now, uh, I kind of figured out that some of the species which I'm missing are due to the fact that I require, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, access during the night time, so I clearly cannot do that. I had an opportunity to take a photo of this uh, thing, but it just did not work out, so I will need to look for these uh, last species. And I don't know if I should take the actual net gun for it uh, in order for me to help me catch it. 130 till 250. And this one is in the hydrothermal vents. Uh, if I can like find some sort of uh, list of the seahorses, it might at least give me an idea of what in the world am I supposed to look for when it comes to the seahorse but uh, that's that's gonna be a little tricky maybe so what do we have uh, I need to like compare it with the list white seahorse yes big belly seahorse yes a uh, crown seahorse yeah Dwarf. It's kind of a problem that I have. I'm missing two species. 130 till 250. I. Uh, long snout. Could it be aligned? I think it's the lined seahorse. So let's take a look at where in the world can I find this thing. Blue hole depth. Third depth level. 130 till 250. One cannot access this area during nighttime diving. It's too dark to see even with the headlamp. Okay, so at least I have some slight idea of what the hell am I looking for. And when it comes to this last one for the hydrothermal... That would be nice if I can actually figure out... Which one that is, because we have the leafy sea dragon. No, 
No, no, no, no, no. That's not the one I'm looking for. Interesting. I'll probably definitely swap out to... Yeah, so these two knuckleheads I can only get during nighttime. So I'll try to do that some other time. Uh, but I have idea of what this is. And the hydrothermal vents... I have to check what exactly this is. Uh, explorable area. Access to the vents is given on the final chapter 6 of the mission ancient control room. Fish and animals from volcanic environments. Dave can find photo location west side. Okay. So. You can try to mess around with that. And I also need to get into the hydrothermal vents because uh, when I battled the, uh, what you call it, the uh, lava monster, which I swear to God looked like one of the Pokemons, uh, the fossil ones, uh, <clears throat> it just, uh, I wasn't able to take the meat out and uh, we, we just got out so late that theoretically um, it was just... Impossible for me to uh, serve the VIP or compete against the VIP and have the cucumber event. So fortunately for me, they got postponed. But theoretically, if I would be able to bring in the net gun, I might be able to capture some of these species in higher quality. But I have no clue what this is. And the photo location, yeah, that's uh, not dependent on me. So... Some of these I can deal with. Some of these are going to be tricky. The uh, glacial zone first, third. Okay, I will try to see if I can deal with that. But of course, I'm going to try to do the diving. I have no clue what this can be, to be perfectly honest with you. Because it's 0 till 50 meters. So... That can honestly be a lot of things. So we'll swap out to the net gun. And uh, theoretically we can check if I can upgrade anything else. The oxygen is basically your HP pool. So that's what it is. And if I would be able to bring in even more stuff. I would be super thrilled. This is max max. So I'll uh, improve these two. That does not leave me with too much money, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, not really. I'm not really sure if this is more related to like uh, the actual. Uh, 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 what you call it? Uh, the photo. Uh, hold on. I kind of discovered uh, from checking out a few things that you can like through here find out uh, what you have, how much like stuff you have, what's the level, or how many portions you can potentially like make out of the things which you have access to. So like coral trout here is the least, least populated one. If I can upgrade the. the the stellate buffer fish special that would be absolutely awesome i have only like one of these shark heads so that's not really great i need to research more dishes if i will be able to do one more i will be able to um go and get my hands on another achievement so yeah uh megalo Corruptus uh, Sushi, I wasn't really able to bring any of them because I had to shoot them, which made the quality absolutely terrible, so that's why I did not do, but I do have like a lot of stuff and I need to bring in a few of those other things, I don't know how I can, ooh, so I can actually filter out, and through here, you can actually like go and send out people 
to go fetch you like uh, cooking ingredients. So if you have like, I don't know, 10 employees and you only use four of them, you can send six of them to grab you soy sauce because you are not guaranteed that you are gonna get your hands on the goddamn thing anyhow. So that, that's, that's kind of awesome discovery that I managed to do. But I, I really wanna um, <clears throat> try to get the fish that I'm missing. Although, to be like perfectly honest with you, uh, if I go in here and I'm like looking for uh, the missing species, um, the outline is just so vague. Uh, it, it can be honestly so, so many things. And I think that one I already do have. I can try. But I'm not sure. Also, I will need some sort of bait for the crab pots. And if I would shoot the net gun into like this school of fish, I can just grab so many at the same time. But it's kind of weird that usually after some big update to the game, the drops for the recipes which you get tend to be a little bit better. You know what I would appreciate actually getting my hands on is that school of those aggressive little shits which keep bothering me. I don't know what sort of stingray this is, but with the basic harpoon tip, that would not be great. For me to mess around with that and we can upgrade the damage here but to be like honest with you i have no clue what i can be looking for zero till 50 i don't think any of these actually do match what i do require just makes it that much more awkward because I'm like literally trying to get the last piece of whatever could this be it that's the big if it's just orange starfish these are these little tiny fish I mean they're cute and all but do I need them for any recipe or something? Nah, eh, not really. Oh, like a lot of stingrays. I'm not sure if he's gonna... Wow, okay. Went out quite far. I would also love to get this knucklehead. This fish, uh, the, the problem is simple, and it's just in the fact that uh, if, if you, like, get them, uh, there's usually just, like, that one recipe for which you can use them. And, like, that's it. I can try to get this little knucklehead. And this is exactly the fish which I'm talking about that I want to obtain. But it would be nice if I can get like a bigger chunk of them together. Because then I can just grab them in like a handful. If it's like one knucklehead, then it's just not as efficient. Once that got damaged, or I had to kill them, I just won't bother with those, and I will throw them out. Still want to grab that shark. Or I can.
can just grab them like this. Grab the ammo. And fortunately for me, like, they don't even occupy a tremendous amount of space in my inventory. But I really do wonder what can be the fish that I'm, like, supposed to get, because through the outline... Hard for me to try and be sure. And I just simply don't want to take up too much of my inventory, but total nonsense fish that I won't be using. Because at the end of the day, certain species just suffer with that curse that they have not been given. A different type of use so you have just that basic slice of fish on some rice which you thankfully don't even have to grow and like that's it oh crap a Mako this is gonna be a tricky one this is overly aggressive species This is why it's important for you to have those consumables. Especially if you don't know the range at which you're shooting. And because I Despite the fact that I have upgraded the harpoon gun a few times and I have an improved uh, spear tip, it's still just like 36 points of damage, which is really not that great. But I'll be taking Mako because Mako does not manifest that frequently. You usually get like Treasure Shark or that other shark species which I was able to come across. And theoretically, since we have Mako, <clears throat> I can put it into the crab pod to see if I would get some decent uh, fish or some decent crustacean out of it. Epic. It's just like 1.8 kilos, so it's absolutely minimalistic. But what can be potentially the species that I'm still looking for? Wish I can tell you. I would love to know my damn self. The thing is, there's just so many... Actually wanted to switch that out for a different one. These ones are perfectly fine. This one is gonna go away. If you're able to like upgrade the net gun and just are able to cram in into that one good shot, bunch of fish, you're you're just saving the ammunition and that's just awesome thing is that eventually your basic knife is more powerful than most of the weapons here that you pick up so you like even have to be careful do not accidentally pick up something because uh, yeah then it's just a whole awkward thing although I have no clue how it's gonna actually work for uh, the uh, flashlight that I'm supposed to find in order to uh, be able to capture this weird thing and if I won't catch it then I'm kind of in a bad spot because uh, there's like a limited time to do it and if you get it done you actually receive some sort of benefit from it so it is worthwhile doing it and capturing these weird little knuckleheads coral we do have because we grow that at the sea people village Getting those lobsters. I should really look for some oxygen. Kind of been ignoring that. 
kind of busy trying to just do my stuff. That's kind of the thing. I'm, I'm trying to capture some species of a fish. And I still don't think I got it because I would assume it would be like marked out in here. I don't know if I need to just have it in my inventory or if I literally have to pull it out of the water in order for it to count as that thing. You see this, this one, the treasure, that one tends to appear a bit more frequently than Mako. I'm trying to see if any of the fish here would match the freaking outline. But with the treasure shark around... I feel like it can be this one. But I already have that in the... Unless it's this. a school of those knuckleheads again unfortunately that shot did not connect well enough that one connected great this one i don't care that much about but be able to fill in the backpack quite efficiently have these little shits i think they are needed for some recipes so that's why i'm trying to grab them Plus, I might get the row out of them, and that is never a bad thing to have, because then you have them at the fish farm, and you can just do whatever it is that you need to do. Now, upgrading the damage on the actual net gun, kind of pointless. Uh, is it 50 till... Hundred thirty till two hundred fifty. Okay. Could it be these knuckleheads? That's like the fun thing. Once you like caught so many of the fish, you're just no longer sure. I think I need even this for some weird recipe. Why? Don't want the Barracuda. I need to get to 130 till 250. I know that going into like the sunken ship and places like that without an actual weapon weapon would be pointless because there's a hammerhead and the sailfish itself and so I wouldn't be able to capture that. Okay, there's actually a decent catch here. Even if I'm being inked. Lots of these knuckleheads swimming around. But I'm trying to get to 130 meters of a depth. If I read it correctly. <clears throat> 130 to 250. And then we can try the glacial uh, cave. Which would be accessible through the... Sea People Village. I don't need you, the literal shark, or what's it called? Honestly, just looking for a seahorse. 130 till 250. Problem is, I have no clue where specifically to try and look for that one knucklehead.
in the afternoon I will probably go and check uh, I have really weird fish on me right now so let's put in the sheep's head meat I'll grab the spider crab because it's for one of the dishes with the cucumbers and I'm not exactly sure right now where do I find the the flashlight thingy which I'm supposed to obtain so that I can uh, get the, that weird squid. You okay, come and work with me. All I need you to do is just get done. So yeah, the the afternoon fishing, I will just skip that. By that, I mean I will actually go and hunt for fish. But I will like cut it out of the video unless something interesting is gonna happen. And then we will have the evening service. Because we have like once again the VIP and I don't know if this is the last VIP. I would certainly love to see how that would play out. The problem is I really tend to struggle to find no, that's unfortunately one which I already do possess. Till 250. Don't want that, no. I'll grab you for one of the dishes. Definitely am gonna grab you for that cucumber dish. I really wish I will discover a different way of getting my hand on the spider crab. There would be like a way for me to know where to get this one. Knucklehead specifically, I would be absolutely thrilled. But there's just such a wide range of space, 130 till 250. It's just crazy how much of an area you have to try and cover in order to discover That one thing, and I even like stopped looking into that uh, not Marinka, but uh, the other application where you like have to donate all that weird stuff in order to get all these cool rewards. I think I'm getting the beeping noise. I think it's maybe below. I'm not sure if the cookie cutter can be caught with the net. Yeah, no. I need that special flashlight oh dave that's the one please catch it if you can it will react to special light so i don't know if i need to get like the uv flashlight which i used to get out of the crates in order to interact with these things i 
I don't know if I just blew it up. What special light? I'm gonna assume it's gonna be in one of these crates. Unless I will get two pickaxes, then it's gonna be one awkward sequence. Honestly, the fanfish is awesome. But that cookie cutter is the biggest problem right now. Special light. Oh, crap, okay. Captured the fish mom. Somehow it worked out. I would still like to find the damn seahorse. I now have like a slight idea of what the hell is it supposed to look like, but it, it's it's a needle in the haystack. I think I found it. Oh my god, I found that sucker. All because I lifted a stone? That makes so little sense. But okay. Mm. So now the glacial zone. I no longer have uh, crap pots left. I don't even think I have like a decent bait. So mo most of the stuff which is on me is just literally so many weird things that I'm trying to capture. The fan fish, that, that's a solid fish because like when I first was able to start getting the fan fish and I discovered how much you can get out of that fish alone, just for that simple basic uh, dish that you get out of it, because you get only one, uh, that's actually quite the reward by itself. Not really interested in that, so what we will try to do is go into the glacial cave. I did put in the request to upgrade all the seeds. I honestly, however, do not know how much longer it's gonna take. Maybe like a day or two. I don't know if there's gonna be a commission. I've replanted all the seaweed right now, so not really uh, needing anything over there. That one seahorse which I caught, that's awesome because if I would be able to capture the other one at the bottom where like the ancient species tend to live, That'll help me out too, but right now I need to go in here and uh, for the life of it, I do not recall which one of the caves is it meant to be where I'm supposed to catch that, that other species of whatever. And if I'm like supposed to go to some other location or if it's not required. This knucklehead over here is gonna be a problem. But if I'll be able to capture him, there is like an eel jelly dish for which you need him. It's kind of 
funny because I, I know by now that I cannot do that mini game just with one hand. You just cannot switch between. Holy crap, I did not see that knucklehead there. Problem is, I really don't see. other species in here so I don't know if I have to go in here because if you're like told that you need to go to a specific location Third glacial cave. First glacial cave. I don't. Hmm. So each in control room is considered the third cave. I don't know if that's... Uh, maybe, maybe I actually do just have to go to the... Uh, glacial zone. Try to catch whatever I can. Replenish the ammunition. They would at least like group up somehow. So I can get more of them at the same time. Beautiful. That was a nice catch. That was a nice catch. Also, like in the Arctic region, there's supposed to be like Thor's hammer or something. And if, if you like beat up a fish with it or capture like one of those ancient crocodiles which swim around in there. He should get like another achievement for it, but I don't know if he need like a, a stormy day for that thing to manifest. So, I mean, theoretically, we can take a crack at it and see if it will be there. The the thing which is kind of uh, making me a little uneasy is the French DLC. I I don't know how to activate it, but uh, what will happen if they add on the DLC? which was meant to be available from like the 15th of December or something. And uh, all of a sudden, you have like, uh, I don't know, uh, more achievements. Like that can easily happen to you. So then you just feel like a total dumbass because you, you just have to like, Okay, this school of fish. You, if you, if that narwhal would like knock it the hell off, I would be thrilled. He's still like going after me. Now the the hammer is meant to be like on the other side. Just waiting for this knucklehead to like swim away. I honestly don't have a clue if that hammer can be somewhere in here. I don't want to deal with the beagle shark. I really don't have the armament for it. If I would have my death rifle, I'm not worried. 
but not like this. I'm actually starting to consider if I should get rid of some of the other things which I caught. Just so that I can make space. Because I'm already over -cumbered. Definitely holding on to you, buddy. <clears throat> this should give me the carry capacity now. Okay, hold on, hold on. That, that's our last one. No? Or is that just the weedy sea dragon, huh? No, you don't really want to mess with me. Trust me. There's a Greenland shark. Like, it's supposed to be encased in uh, ice. But I really don't know if you need to have... Uh, like a thunder or a stormy day for it to happen. You, you are so freaking annoying. Because I'm just too, too low now. So probably I do need a storm. For it to manifest itself. I'm trying to see if there is like a rare mineral down here. I'll just wait for the vapors to disappear so I don't take any damage. has like a thegomizer at the end of the tail so it always stinks and I don't have I ah, there to be cleared out quite a decent amount of space so I might be able to go and try to get in the control room worst case scenario I'll try to pick up the goddamn piece of the lava monster which should be left behind Easy catch. But the thermal vents should be like. Okay, let's go try and see if I will be able to take the photo of this damn thing. I need to capture like a whole site. Damn it, it has to be moving. Ah, it swam away. Too late. If you, like, miss out these options to catch it when, like, swims out and such, that's it. You will have to try again. Let's try to explore this location. Huh? Look at this! Son of a biscuit. Of course it will escape the damn net gun. Which is most unfortunate because that means that the max quality I can grab is just two star. But what I'm looking for is that piece of meat. Which should be over there. Or maybe it's in here? I don't think this is the right 
base. Maybe I need to swim down there. The question is now also if I can actually... No, these ones are just gonna be here. It seems like they are non-edible. Wow, really? You're just gonna be one of those, huh? Kind of stinks because that means that the, the quality I'll be able to obtain is just never gonna be that high. Which is a little sad. Hold on, if I will grab this knucklehead, I will be able to get to the other side, which is where we defeated the lava monster. So I should be able to pick up the meat, I hope. It should be here, hopefully. The benefit of these, like, meals made out of these boss fight creatures is that it only costs you one uh, of the research points. So now we have the Yaoi. Honestly, like, to me, that would be enough. I'm gonna be able to get back to the surface. Otherwise, I'll get overcumbered. Right now, I'm not sure how much this ancient scorpion weighs, but the quality is what's pissing me off the most. Is there one at the bottom swimming here? No, I have to bring this one, huh? Come on! We're gonna block this vent for me to get out. I would really love to be able to grab more of these, but... Uh, no need for it. Uh, this is where we were, so this is fine. Should be able to get out. And I think I just need to swim upwards. And find a mirror. Hopefully one of the Donkly Osteus won't try to mess with me. I don't really see some sort of seahorse around here. Yeah, I'm not really sure at what stage do you like trigger uh, opening of the branch. So there's the Donkey Osteus. Don't really have the tools to deal with that. So let's just go to the surface. I'll try to do the other diving and uh, then we will do the events and everything. So stick around for more fun with me. Or you can really make my day and go watch like the entire catalog of videos. I have just like 20, what, six, seven for this alone. So you know it's gonna be fun. Hmm. <laughs> Did you bring something back from the collection? I didn't see. Oh, it's really like some kind of ghost this way. 
Oh, you shouldn't touch it. It's extremely poisonous. Whoops, I nearly doomed this week's article. Anyhow, thank you. We'll send you a fee when the issue is out on Monday. Okay, let's go take a look. Ah, okay, so it's gonna be orange fish, huh? shows up so that's like Tuesday Thursday and Saturday he shows up and you're able to buy stuff from him and I kind of shipped out a large quantity of stuff from the aquarium to myself secret recipes for 4,000 which I unfortunately do not have a truffle which we got already I would need to check what I do not have. I'll take the black vinegar. So, yeah, th this is the dish. I was really hoping I would be able to have it. But uh, it's, it's going to take a while for me to get to that point. I think I'm still looking for more employees. So that's why we were hiring. And... Yeah, she, she's going to be back eventually. Apparently, through training certain staff members and getting them to like level 15, they will unlock a specific meal or dish which only they can give you, so that's kind of neat. Gives you that kind of incentive to interact with them, train them, and all that jazz, so that's awesome. But yeah, I'll, I'll try to do what I can and I'll talk to you at the service. Okay, I actually might get the opportunity to take a photo for the humpback whale here. Okay. Yeah, you should. Well, hopefully the damn yellow fin tuna won't F it up for me. <laughs> well, please tell me they will turn around. Splashing water. I got the Ornith Weasel, which is the last thing which I'm missing in the till 50 meter bundle of fish. So 
I've at least managed to do that. And waste my ammo. photo spot so let's take a look if I'll be able to actually take a photo at least this time and not completely muck it up but I need all of them to pop out Ooh, okay so timing wise this is gonna be annoying three of them that took care of that in this location which is like the first cave I was able to find also Alaskan Pollock which was another fish that I was missing so theoretically uh, when it comes to portion of the Marinka card, so uh, I should be A-OK. -okay. I just need to go and enter the third cave, which is the last one that we were in. I have no freaking idea what's that. Arctic Telescope Fish, okay. And I should be able to get the other species. The thermal vents should provide me with access to the sea, sea dragon, the ruby sea dragon, but I'll, I'll see how lucky I'll get with that. Managed to do it. Ha <laughs> ha! Sucker. I will like this. Nice. Managed to do two photos. The one thing which pisses me off is that if I would have been able to pull off the whale photo, that would have meant that the entire first section is also finished. Ah, oh, man. That's really unfortunate. But by accessing those specific locations, it should have ensured that most of the other Pokédex entries are done. And that I should not have an issue with that. Okay, so I pulled in all sorts of things, but the important stuff is that I got the Alaskan Pollock, the Lumpfish, the Snow Nose, Spiny Eel. Apparently, the Ruby Sea Dragon is found when you are mining the Ruby Deposits, but the Ruby Deposits in the Geothermal area are super rare, so... I'm gonna have to wait for that, and that unfortunate thing about the... Whale photo, well, that just sucks. So, I brought a picture of something, and yuck, it's gross. A sawbuck. I remember often seeing it in my backyard. Did you take this picture at my place? Oh, it's underwater. I see it now. It's, it's, 
Bathnumus, I'm sure of it. And they're eating actually a Greenland shark, so that's fun. Mm. Fresh uh, change from the usual picture of fish. I need to send it to the editor in chief right away. <laughs> but I did take one more photo. And the coalescent <laughs> living fossil that barely changed from the Paleozoic era. But no one in the Paleozoic era actually saw it in person, so how can be sure it's not oh. it's the same maybe this is what you call inconvenient <laughs> truth this uh, picture is going to make waves yeah. so that's nice uh. there are photo spots mm. all over the place i will not be doing the nighttime diving because we have the vip and i have the cucumbers to deal with uh, what i will take a look at is um uh, Eco Watcher. I will need to get Barrel Jellyfish. Sure, I can do that. And... I cannot heal this knucklehead right now. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah, I will manage him tomorrow. Theoretically, what I can do is... So he sleeps better, I guess. Let's go do the VIP, and I really hope that I'm gonna be once again able to do the cooking. Because last time when we did the fish and chips, it was super close. I had 99 score, and the fish and chip guy had 96. So if I fudge up the cooking, that can also be a problem. Hello everyone, this is you from NDC Station. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. With whose victory will this long-standing conflict end? Banjo, are you ready? Yes. Pastro. <laughs> Son pronto. Let's get it started. Excellent. Then let's begin. I don't like that it's always Tiger and the Dragon, but I'll take it. Let's see. Prepare the squid. B, B. Okay. A D A D A D A D A D Perfecto W S W S the A D W S W S A D W S W S A D W S W S A D There's one hiccup, but hopefully I'll be able to bounce back. Okay, hold, hold on. Um... Oh. Okay, I did not understand the... Things which I was meant to do here. It's just good. <sighs> Come on. Oh. Directions keep changing. Yeah, I really hope I won't bug this up too much. Okay. 
really hope the score is gonna be sufficient enough. Mami, I can't believe it. I, Pastro Anto Giovanni, defeated in Pasta Contest. I can't accept the judge's call. This show is a lame and not worth of my time. Oribe. This one sour puss. That guy is hot tempered. This carbonara was fantastic, though. It was unbelievable. I like the combination of salty ganache and soft yolk sauce. It was heavenly. Then why didn't he win, Vincent? Miss Lewis, do you know why squid ink is used in dishes? <laughs> what? Is that for the color? Why bother making the color look like it that though? Mm. Not really, Miss Lewis. Yeah. The visual is only a part of the reason. Squid ink is reminiscent of the taste of nature's seawater. Mm. When I tasted Bancho's pasta, I saw the dark and quiet sea. Mm. Black pasta, a nocturnal sea creature dotting the black yeah. sea. I felt like diving into the dark, quiet sea naked at yeah. night. Quite naked, though. Yeah. Tastiness is a very subjective experience after all. Even for a critic like myself, it's never easy to be objective. I like the taste of both dishes equally. However, I give more points to Pancho for his near-perfect representation of the theme in every nook and cranny of his dish. Your reasoning is so absurd. Do you know who's the biggest sponsor of your program, don't you? I do know. Hmm. Nolan Crawford, the chairman of the BNC group who is your father. He's also my sensei. You know my father personally? How's that possible? Hold on. When I was young, I worked at your father's restaurant in New York. Back then, I was nothing but an inexperienced apprentice, cook. I was lucky to be hired by your father. My first jump was cooking omelets. Although egg is a pretty common ingredient, it's one of the hardest to master. It's very hard to time the perfect moment to put the omelet in frying pan. I was struggling to figure that out. And... Someone tapped my shoulder with a smile on his face. It was your father. And that is one handsome fella. He kindly taught me when and how to better flip that omelet. He, the restaurant owner, didn't mind spending his precious time teaching a new hire. Man, that egg is fucked! I mean, it looks even worse than when I cook, but I mean, my cook is like intermediate. His passion, is, uh, passion and creativity towards food were truly inspirational. He was always looking for new tastes and experimented with new recipes. He failed more times than I can remember, but he would succeed in the end. He is now entrepreneur of a large corporation, but I believe his passion would never change. I can feel it. Miss Lewis, why don't you try Bancho's pasta yourself? Well, if you insist, I think it's gonna blow her freaking lid off. Mm. So a shark's head, she she won't do, but the pasta she will. Sure. Yeah, I think she likes it. I admit I was prejudiced. This pasta is incredible. It's not just visual, it carries the nature flavor of each ingredient. And I criticize his dish without even trying it. I'm not worthy to be restaurant critic. Don't blame yourself, we just have different philosophy about food. 
Bancho, I know it's rather abrupt offer, but would you be interested in opening a branch? A branch? Oh. Yes, another Bancho Sushi. Clearly, there are many people who don't understand your food philosophy. But if they taste your food at least once, they will wake up to a new dimension of food. I want them to have that mind-blowing opportunity. But your current restaurant is too small. It's big enough for me. Your restaurant is already widely known. People will visit your place in droves sooner or later. You need to be prepared to maintain the quality of the food you serve. But if he opens a branch, it will be harder for him to control the food quality. He has staff members who sincerely follow his philosophy, right? They can be the manager of the branch. Manager, you say? Don't worry, trust your staff. They know what to do to live up to the reputation you build. Trust your staff and let more people taste your food. But I don't have management system and funds to open a branch yet. I can help you with that. I know how to operate a franchise. I'm well educated in that matter by my father. I have the skills and money needed. And I won't ask anything in return. Consider this reward for winning the contest. Well, I'm not sure if this is right. Bunch of sushi without me. Bunch, I think you should give it a try. This will be good challenge for the staff to grow further. If that's what everyone thinks, I have no other choice. Okay, I will open a branch. What am I supposed to do though? Order wooden planks or something? <laughs> Don't worry about the construction, BNC company will take care of it. Mm -hmm. You just uh, name the manager and decide what to serve with what ingredients. Well, it's about time for the night shift. The construction will be completed by tomorrow morning. She must be kidding. Anyway, I realized that I was close-minded about new approaches to food. I apologize for my poor review of your dish in the past. From now on, I will help spread your food far and wide. I will contact you again when the branch is ready. Uh, this is gonna be problematic. I don't have enough employees! But I did prepare the dishes and the first four, the five, five, ten, and four, and even the next one is all cucumber based. So I have technically 26 portions of uh, cucumber meals ready to be served. But now I'll have to definitely train my staff even more. Uh, probably Raul, uh, can, or Raul can be uh, the chef or the branch manager. He is level... Which he has, but I believe if I would be able to train him at least up to... Level 10 as Kyoko. He has decent enough stats to get there. So let's see how the cucumber is gonna get sold. I'll try to serve beverages and clean up. Okay, we have already some disappointment. I need to go clean up that stuff. And serve the damn cocktail. Uh... Okay. Oh my god, I feel so useless. Thank god I don't have to look for freaking wasabi or something or we would be absolutely boned. Man, most of the cucumber stuff did not even get sold. That's awkward. I really hope they are gonna order the cucumber stuff. Oh, come on. I fudged up the last one. We're still not close enough to the platinum. 
Oh, we did the cucumber thing. So that's important. Okay. Ah, Miss Louise. The branch is ready for Ooh. business. Act quickly. The administrative uh, agility of the BNC group is top in the mm. industry. Visit the branch with Bancho. I will see you there. Okay. So... Uh... Kind of cannot even interact with the damn phone, so I guess we have to go to the branch. Oh, this is the branch. The place gives off tropical vibe. Not exactly my taste, but it blends in well with the surrounding environment. I think I will make Raul the, the chef or the branch manager. It's time to brew a theme for a restaurant on the beach. Let me explain how to run your branch. Obviously, you need staff members to run your business. Open the staff menu below. You need at least three staff members to run the store. How do I... Why do I need that many? Because neither you nor Dave will be there at the branch, so you need to hire a manager to supervise the business there. And of course you need the staff dining area and kitchen, as well as like the HQ. That is why you need minimum of three staff members to open and run the branch. The manager. Right, the manager is most important. It's because the number of ingredients available and the number of customers depend on the stats of your manager. It's best to appoint staff member with the highest stats to the manager Ooh. position. If I appoint the manager, they will run the business on their own. Nope, your manager cannot run the business against the operation policy of HQ. You need to set an operation policy to give guidance to the manager according to which the manager will prepare the menu appropriately. Mm. So I could instruct the manager what they serve as I see fit, right? Like expensive dishes or dishes with the most ingredients first. <laughs> yes, exactly. Let's talk about ingredients. Open the ingredients menu. The grade of your manager determines the ingredients used at the branch. Check the ingredients currently available and predict sale revenue. Well, it seems like there are no ingredients at the branch at the moment. That's because it's not open yet. You can bring ingredients from HQ or the fish farm at any time. Uh, would you click on deliver button? You can send or receive ingredients from here. As I said earlier, your manager cannot use ingredients, those grade is higher than theirs. Okay. I'm sure that you now understand what to do with the branch. <laughs> I now own a second restaurant, that means twice the revenue. Only if you run it successfully, I might add. We will see how it goes, okay? Let more people experience your culinary revolution. I'm sure they will love your recipes. And with that, we have another achievement. The uh, branch of Bancho Sushi is now open. Assign a manager. So I think, honestly... Uh, ooh, this is gonna be tricky. I have to heal this knucklehead. Eat it. Uh, play with it. And discipline it. I need to get the discipline over two, four, six, seven, over nine. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, great. So I should theoretically work towards the beluga now. But this is gonna be problematic. I don't want her to do the job, so... I haven't... Current manager kind of use high ranking ingredients, yeah. 
But why are you just giving me the cookie cutter stuff? Everything is showing me rank, but if I don't assign anyone... Let, let's take a look. Uh, maybe if I would put Raul out of the rotation. Uh, that, that's the thing, like, honestly, I have no clue how I'll try to do this. Uh, if I would put Raul as the manager and Kyoko to be sent over there as well, Then I have theoretically uh, a branch manager. The, the problem is it would be up to Dave to do the, the service and I have no clue how the hell I would pull that off. Should have hired more people probably or something. I honestly like this one more. Um. This is tricky so much. I have only two rice left. Rice is now the bottleneck. The one dish which I want this day is because it serves the two tunas. And it has like great selling price. Yeah, this is the striped catfish. We still don't have 15 for that cucumber dish. Carrots I do have, but... I don't have crystal lobster, so researching it is impossible as is. I seriously don't know if there's gonna be... Like, uh... More times uh, repeating, okay, artisanal flame. So we have those 30 recipes. That's awesome. Uh, I will be able to fight these boss fights again. That can literally like get these four dishes. So if I would have you here, and I would have you here, I still need someone to cook. So I have no clue how I'll do this, but uh, I'll need more staff, that's for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna have to figure that out somehow and uh, hopefully I will have some different event for us eventually or some different game to cover. So if you want to know what I'll be covering, make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you in the comments for the next one. Thank you all for watching and bye bye for now. you though why is it not counting as the 20th time i fed you
Thank you.